Well, that escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. That little girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. Might get a better view from up there. How are you coping? 
I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I have absolutely no explanation for it. Makes zero sense to me. What is out there? We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. This have something to do with what we saw? I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. <laughs> What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Hold up, I'll come with you. What the hell have you done to us? Hell? 
Calm down. Breathe. Strangers are not welcome here in Little Hope. Wait! Don't go! Stay away! What the hell are you? What do you want? Look. It's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions! Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that! I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm with John. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Butt out, Granny. No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Hold up. You hear that? Shit. here? We're good. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about.
Wait! Great job. Glad you made it over. You flipped out again. Just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. Huh? <laughs> if you two wanted to be together, you should have just said so instead of just taking off like that. Someone had to keep John cool after he took off into the woods. Very funny. I'm telling you, there was something grotesque in that hut. There was indeed. Something grotesquely small and harmless. The terrifying creature in the hut was in fact a cat. Let's carry on, shall we? This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. <laughs> 